And our question, today's question is, construct a hyperbola with the distance between the focus and the directrix is 50 m and eccentricity as 3 by 2. Now in this question, straight away it is mentioned you have to construct a hyperbola. Sometimes it is mentioned that this is a hyperbola, it is mentioned construct a curve. Construct a curve. If it is construct a curve, so you have to read the question carefully. Now then decide which curve you have to draw. Now here eccentricity is 3 by 2. And to calculate 3 by 2, so it is coming 1.5. That means it is greater than 1. Eccentricity when coming greater than 1, then we have to draw hyperbola. Now in our case, we will draw hyperbola by directrix focus method. Which method? Directrix focus method or also it is called as eccentricity method. Now first step to draw, first you have to draw vertical line. Okay, first you have to draw vertical line. And that line is nothing but your directrix. It is of any length. It is of any length. Mark this line as D D dash. Mark this line as D D dash. Then draw a horizontal principal axis, it means horizontal line. No necessary that it should be passed through center, but somewhat around center you can draw it of the directrix. This line is AB and this line is called as principal axis. Condition is that principal axis always perpendicular to directrix. Now it is clear. Next step. In our question it is given. Distance between the focus and the directrix is how much? 50 m. You know that focus is always on principal axis. So which distance it is given? From directrix it is 50 m. So locate the focus. How to locate? From A take distance how much? 50 m. And locate the point F. This F is nothing but your focus. Understood? After that, next step. Divide line AF. Divide line AF into 5 number of equal parts. So how to divide? Already we know in the graphics we have to divide by standard method. So take angle protector, put it on A like this and take angle of much? 30 degree. Then draw a line from A that is angular line. Angle of 30 degree. Next, you know it very well. Take compass, take distance in the compass, any distance, but after taking distance, don't change. So, I am taking this distance, put it on A and divide this angular line or line at an angle of 30 degree into 5 number of equal parts. Okay, 5 number of divided this line into pi number of equal parts. Last one is pi dash, last one is f. Join with the help of proctor of scale pi dash with f. Then with the help of your proctor of roller scale, draw parallel line from each point. So that original line AF is divided into pi number of equal parts. And give the numbering <coughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Understood? Now this line exactly divided into 5 number of equal parts. If we measure this one division, it is coming 10. 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. Clear? Next. After divided of line AF, you have to locate vertex V. Vertex V. To locate vertex V, that condition has to be satisfied. What is the condition? That eccentricity is 2 by 2. If V is at point 3, let us say, we, suppose V is, if we locate V at point 3 at this point, understood this. So my ratio VF upon AV, VF upon 
AB. What is VR? How much VR? How much VR is distance? 20 mm. Okay. So this is 20. And what is AB? We have considered VR and 3. How much? 10, 20 and 30. So 20 divided by 30. So we act we acceptable? No. It is not acceptable. So now consider V at 2, position 2. Again V up upon A B. Now V is at 2 here. What is V up? Or V up? Let us consider V at 2, this V. So this is 13. And what is A B? AB is 20. It is coming how much? Divided. Now B at 2 is acceptable. So locate B. So our B is here. And give the name B. This is our vertex. Now how to locate B? Understood? Understood or not? So after locating B, then you have to draw one line, vertical line. Okay. One vertical line. Such that this line is V such that this V is equal to V up. And how much V up? Over here, okay. We have to draw one line B that is equal to here, and another condition is B B is perpendicular to it. B is perpendicular to A B. Understand or not? Then after that, join E. Join A E. I have joined. And I said, just I said, just I said that any point. Clear? Understood? Okay. We have drawn B perpendicular to B. B equal to B F. In our case, it is 30. It is 30. Then join B and X. Next step. After this, then. Randomly, we have to mark the points in between here at random distance. Now I am marking the points. Let us say this one. I will give Roman one first point. Understood? Randomly at any distance. I have not taken particular distance which way. And then next, I will mark here another point that is number two. Next, I will mark another point at number 3. And last, I will mark another point at number 4. I have taken minimum 4 points. First, second, third, fourth. I have taken randomly. Understood? Randomly, you have to take the points. Clear or not? Then, next step, what you have to do? From point number 1, Roman 1. From point number Roman 1. With the help of doctor, draw a vertical line which is perpendicular to AB and parallel to B and that will intersect this extended line AE. Understood? And view this intersection point as one dash. One dash. And also below you have to just extend. Clear? At any length, no issue. But up to here, when intersection happens, we have to give intersection point at one line. Similarly, from two, draw a line again vertical and it is perpendicular to AB and give the intersection point at two dash. And here also just extend. Next, similarly at point Roman 3. 
draw a vertical line and again extend. This point is it ends and just extend below. Similarly, from point four, draw a vertical line. Right. 